to draw four diagrams. They are uh, curse of peritoneum, pathway of bile, anterior abdominal wall, nine regions on anterior abdominal wall, and muscles of soft palate. It is present in your book. And next Friday, you will answer nasal cavity and larynx. And nasal cavity, you should repeat from osteology, walls of nasal cavity. For example, for example, middle wall or septum nasi consists of vomer. Here it is, lamina perpendicularis of fat bone, crista sphenoidalis, crista nasalis of palatine bone and maxilla, and crista and spina nasalis of frontal bone. Inferior wall, inferior wall, that is uh, palatine process of maxilla and lamina horizontalis of palatine bone. Lateral wall, it is nasal surface of maxilla, nasal bone, lacrimal bone, inferior nasal concha, labyrinths of etmate bone together with superior medial concha, lamina perpendicularis of palatine bone, and lamina medialis of pterygate process of sphenic bone. The same, the same in osteology, okay, that is nasal cavity, septum nasi, that is crista galli, lamina cribrosa, labyrinths of etmate bone, concha nasalis superior, concha nasalis media, and concha nasalis inferior. And between these three concha, we have three nasal meatus. Meatus nasi superior, meatus nasi medius, meatus nasi inferior, and uh, last meatus between septum nasi and concha nasalis, here it is meatus nasi communis, common nasal meatus. And uh, you already know what opens into superior nasal meatus. Here it is sinus sphenoidalis, posterior cells of etmate bone, and foramen sphenopalatinum. Foramen sphenopalatinum. Then, in middle nasal meatus, we have largest sinuses. They are sinus maxillaris and sinus frontalis, frontal sinus. The same in middle nasal meatus opens anterior medial cells of etmate bone, cellular etmaidalis, anterior and media. And inferior nasal meatus, it is only canal canalis, naso lacrimalis. Nasal lacrimal canal opens into inferior nasal meatus. It is not new information for you, but you need to repeat it and you will answer walls of nasal cavity and what opens into three nasal meatus. From nasal cavity, air, air goes to nasal part of pharynx. From nasal part of pharynx, continues to oral part of pharynx, and then goes to larynx. Larynx consists of cartilages. We have paired and unpaired cartilages. Unpaired, three large unpaired cartilages. Uh, heat is and largest cartilage, that is, Thyroid, cartilaga thyroide. This cartilage consists of two lamina, right and left lamina, and they join together and forms angle. Uh, angulus cartilaga thyroide, thyroid cartilage. The same, this cartilage has superior horn, inferior horn. Uh, next cartilage, that is epiglottis, in front of inlet into the larynx. And last, unpaired cartilage, that is cricate cartilage, below of thyroid. It is arch of cricate cartilage, and that is lamina of cricate cartilage. And paired cartilages. Largest paired cartilage, that is aritonate cartilage. It is cartilago aritonaida. It consists of apex, base, in front from this cartilage, we have process, vocal process, processus vocalis, and laterally, laterally, 
from this cartilage goes to lateral side. Heat is muscular process, processus muscularis. And we have one alternate cartilage and heat is another. And uh, two smaller cartilages, uh, cartilaga cuneiforme and cartilaga carniculata. They are in fold between arytenate cartilage and epiglottis. Heat is in this region. We have small cartilages, but only necessary to know names of them. Now, departments of larynx. It is inlet into the larynx. It is aditus laryngis. Anteriorly, it forms with epiglottis. Posteriorly, apex of arytenate cartilages. Between them, interarytenate fold, plica interarytenaida. And laterally, that is area epiglottic fold, plica area epiglottica, here and here. Laterally, from this fold, this place, it is pharynx that is behind, that is a pharynx. And this part of pharynx has name piriform recess, recessus piriformis, laterally from area epiglottic fold, recessus piriformis. Now, inside, that is aditus laryngis. This fold is plica vestibularis, vestibular fold. And all of this part of larynx between aditus laryngis and vestibular fold, that is, that is vestibule of larynx, vestibulum laryngis, vestibulum laryngis, upper part of larynx. Then next fold is vocal fold, plica vocalis, and space between vestibular fold and vocal fold, that is la uh, laryngeal ventricle, ventriculus laryngis, ventriculus laryngis. And space below of vocal fold hold this place. That is cavitas infraglottidis. Cavitas infraglottidis. And you need to draw diagram. It is also present in your manual. That is in part of larynx. Upper part of larynx that is a vestibule, vestibulum laryngis. Number two that is plica vestibularis. Number three plica vocalis. Number four ventricle, ventriculus laryngis. Number five cavitas infraglottidis. And now space between vestibular folds, this space that is rima vestibuli. And space between vocal folds, this space, that is rima glottidis, rima glottidis. Now, most difficult moment, that is, that is muscles of larynx, muscles of larynx. My diagram only for your understanding, that is thyroid cartilage, thyroid. It is cricket, cricket cartilage, and two arytenate cartilages. And arytenate cartilage has vocal process, processus vocalis, and muscular process, processus muscularis. Between vocal fold of vocal process and inner surface of thyroid cartilage, we have vocal ligament vocal ligament and mucous membrane which is supplied this ligament makes vocal fold and this space that is rimaglottidis rimaglottidis and now muscles first muscle between cricate cartilage and thyroid that is why name of this muscle cricothyroid muscle here and here Musculus cricotyroidus, cricotyroid muscle. Look. That is cricket cartilage, thyroid, and this muscle, that is cricotyroid muscle. This muscle move thyroid cartilage forward. That is why it tends, tends vocal ligament. This muscle tends vocal ligament. Next. 
Look here. That is thyroid cartilage. It is muscular process of aritonate cartilage. And this muscle, tyro, tyro, aritonate muscle, tyro, aritonate muscle. Look here. Between thyroid and muscular process of aritonate cartilage. Tyro, aritonate muscle. This muscle moves aritonate cartilage forward and no, it's decrease space between thyroid and aritonate cartilages. That is why it relaxes vocal ligament. It relaxes vocal ligament. And this muscle moves muscular process forward and laterally. In this case, vocal process, processus vocalis, moves medially. And it constricts rima glutidis. This muscle, tyro, Aritonate muscle, it relaxes vocal ligament and constrict rima glutidis. Next muscle here, between cricate and aritonate, musculus crica aritonaidus lateralis. It moves muscular process the same forward and laterally and constrict rima glutidis. Next muscle. Here and here, this one, crica aritonate posterior muscle, musculus crica aritonaidus posterior. This muscle moves muscular process backward. In this case, vocal process, vocal process moves laterally. It's dilate rima glutidis. This muscle dilate rima glutidis. Crica aritonaidus posterior. Next, between aritonate cartilages, we have transverse muscle, musculus aritonaidus transversus, and oblique muscles, musculus aritonaidus obliquus, here and here. These three muscles, transverse and two oblique muscles, uh, join together both aritonate cartilages and constrict rima glutidis. And last two muscles goes to azitus laryngis. One of them, tyroepiglottic muscle, musculus tyroepiglotticus. It's dilate azitus laryngis. And areepiglottic muscle, musculus areepiglotticus. It is continuation of musculus aritonaidus obliquus. It's continuous into musculus areepiglotticus. This muscle constrict agitus laryngis. Not necessary to draw this diagram, but you will answer in model name of muscle and function. Okay. Well, that is all. Nasal cavity and larynx next Friday and on Tuesday mini exam written test and then oral. Oral answer with preparates with the help of corp and theory.